यादों की कभी उम्र नहीं ढलती इन पे कभी झुरिया नहीं पड़ती ना ही जंग लगता है बस आंखें बंद कर लो पेश हो जाती हैं आ जाती है रूबरू और साथ ले आती हैं कुछ एहसास कुछ साथ तेरा हाथ Welcome everybody to Foundations TV. Our guest today is Ms. Sunaina Kachru. She is a poetess and an author and uh, was born and brought up in Kashmir. And she has been uh, she has a master's degree in computer science and has uh, always been good academically of course, but also in the extracurricular activities. Uh and her interest in poetry started when she was 15 years old. And since then she has just written a lot of beautiful poetry right from her heart. Heart. I've heard your poetry, Sunaina. It's so beautiful, and she's also an author of a book that she just recently published. So, welcome to Foundations TV, Sunaina. Uh, thank you, Gauri, and uh, I thank Foundations TV as well uh, for giving me this opportunity to come here and uh, talk about the book and my journey. Excellent. So, why don't we start right away with your interest in poetry? Could you tell us how? Do you remember how? What was the first thing that you know inspired you, and what got you into writing poetry? uh actually uh i think the credit goes to my parents um uh, in fact before i was born we had a tv set in our home so i always say the way uh, a child comes into um, after the birth when the child sees his or her parents uh, that's how i saw a tv set too it was in my ho home before i came there so we always had this environment of uh, music and even uh, literature um, i before i even know, uh, know what paris and london is i had read a um, tale of two cities so i had always been reading and writing um, even um, my dad used to re, uh, listen to a lot of ghazals of uh, gulam ali sahab jagjit singh ji uh, so that had an influence on me and uh, i guess it was just subconsciously i had been uh, reading and listening to a lot of music uh, so that is what kind of uh, was always in the background so i had always been writing but at the age of 15 uh, my first poem which was uh, destined to rise was published in a newspaper wonderful which newspaper was it uh, it was a local newspaper in jnk called daily excelsior and uh, from there on i kept writing that but i had always been writing in english my hindi and uh, urdu writing started so that's really. that's interesting so uh, do you remember the first uh, hindi poem that you wrote and if you do then we'd love to hear it yes yeah, sure uh, my first hindi poem that i had written uh, the title is chalo fir se patang udate hain Uh, so that was around five to six years ago. Beautiful, beautiful. Do you remember any lines or from any other Hindi poem too? If you would like to recite an excerpt for our audiences, that would be beautiful. Sure, I can read that. Yeah. Chalo, fir se patang udate hain, kachchi door ka pinna banate hain. Chalo, fir se patang udate hain, kachchi door ka pinna banate hain. Shishe ka churan dadi se ghulwate hain. Chalo, fir se patang udate hain. very nice very nice so if you were to uh, let's say talk about the genres and different types of poetry that you have written can you tell us like is it a certain type that you enjoy more or do you have a variety that you've written different subjects that you write on yeah i think uh, as we say in hindi zindagi ek school hai ek paathshala hai masti ki bhi hai aur bhi bahut kuch seekhte hain hum zindagi se to ye zindagi ki paathshala se whatever i have learned um Uh, so the different genres that life presents us every day uh, so everything is there like you know childhood memories uh, you know uh, the times uh, we spent in uh, we spend in school and college and everything and even uh, when uh, there, there's a genre especially for people who have who live in us and are from different countries and um, so there's a genre for that as well and uh, the one which is very close to my heart is the one which is for children 
lovely, lovely. Now you have a child of your own, yes, right? How old is your child? Uh, he's three and a half. Okay, so that itself is an inspiration, right? I'm, I'm sure right you right there. <laughs> <laughs> you get to see with children. You yes. get to see the world from a completely different perspective. I learn a lot from him. Yes, I learn yes, a lot. I from can him. imagine. I can yes. imagine. So, what what other things besides life and experiences? Is there any other specific inspiration or somebody you look up to or somebody who has inspired your style of writing? Uh, I would say that. Uh, Gulzar Sahab is definitely uh, one inspiration, a very big inspiration. But more than inspiring me, uh, inspiring my style of writing, I would like to say that he has inspired my style of thinking. Um, I would like to th uh, uh, think of him as a thinker, as a philosopher. So um, definitely he is a very big influence. As I said earlier, I had been listening to Jagjit Singh Ji's ghazals for a very long time. In fact, uh, I know exactly when I first listened to his ghazal was in the year 1983, when the Hero movie came out and we had a soundtrack. Um, I listened to some traces of a, a ghazal going, in the back, going on in the background and I asked my father who was that and he said, uh, it's Jagjit Singh Ji singing, Ye Dawlat Bi Lelo, Ye Shohrat Bi so, yeah, so a lot of uh, credit goes to him to, you know, for keeping me glued to the music. So people changed, friends changed, I changed, yeah. but music was always there. Oh, so I, uh, so his uh, music, uh, I, lis I read a lot of ghazals of uh, um, uh, Ghalib, a lot of his ghazal, Hazarun Khwahish Hai Aisi, Ke Har Khwahish Pe Dam Nikle, like that. So. Uh, and then a lot of uh, recent poets as well. Uh, Mehmet Faraz is not that recent right now, but then I love his poetry too. Uh, Munawar Rana Sahab, I love, love his poetry too. So yeah, there are a lot of poets. Excellent, excellent. I and I believe you've been fortunate enough to meet Gulzar Sahab and Jagjit Singh Ji as well as uh, Javed Akhtar Ji. I think yeah. I saw some pictures that you shared with me. Yeah. So. Jagjit Singh Ji, I've met many times. Um, in fact, we had organized a show of Jagjit Singh Ji in the uh, year 1996 when I was studying in Pune for my higher education. And uh, during that show, I had. Uh, I was fortunate enough to spend a lot of time with him. Um, Gulzar saw very recently, and uh, that was a very special day for me. And uh, Javed Akhtar Sahab also very recently when I went to India for my book work. Oh, and uh, in fact, I was very amazed the amount of time he gave me, really? the direction he gave me. I was very amazed and it was a excellent. very pleasant surprise for me. Excellent, excellent. So that, that speaks highly of your work. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it touched him as well, you know. Um, I've heard your poetry and I know you've been reciting uh, in a lot of different events here locally as well. And you have a beautiful voice to, you know, to compliment your uh, <laughs> poetry you. as well. So you do have a very nice style of reciting poetry. Um, so uh, basically, I guess my, my next question is that, uh, you know, you have a book that you have published uh, recently. So would you like to, uh, we do have a copy here that I can probably showcase a little bit here. So this is something that uh, she, Sunena brought with her. So this is her book. It's called Beyond Time. It, the cover is so beautiful. Thank you so much. It's very pretty. And I love the picture and I love the back. Um, I love the pictures inside too. They're very pretty and I think they're beautifully coordinated with the text that are, that's presented to people. So um, would you like to talk about your book a little bit? How was the process? Yeah. Uh, Gauri, a lot of my time, uh, when I decided that I'm going to publish a collection of my poems, a lot of my time went into uh, actually designing the book. Um, what I had already, because I said that I read a lot of poetry or books uh, otherwise, what I had seen was that a lot of poetry books, um, the moment you touch them, it felt like they, they were a lot of uh, you know, uh, Xerox papers bound yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. So I wanted to change that feeling. Sure, sure. I wanted to create an experience. Beautiful. So that was the first thought that let's create an experience. Yes. So uh, I always carry my camera everywhere, so I had a lot of pictures. Very nice. And uh, while writing a lot of my poems and you know getting them um, getting them together, I looked at a lot of my pictures and felt like a lot of pictures and the poems were uh, you know uh, siblings lost at. Um, uh, Mela kehte hai na, jase gume hai kahi aur mil gaye saath mein, you know, it makes so, just perfect sense to be together. Right, 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 so, right. So, yes, I can um, understand. Yeah. So, uh, so that's why we decided that we'll put it together. It was a little difficult because um, when, I w when I went and talked to uh, an artist in India, uh, it's sometimes difficult to get your vision to them. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So a lot of my, most of the pictures here are my own pictures. Beautiful. And then uh, I had some other, some pictures I had to take from a couple of friends who are very good photographers. Achoo. And uh, 
uh, their pictures connected with my poems better. Very nice, so I did not nice. force my pictures on that. Yes, I took yes. the pictures. Of, of course, they have been credited as well. Good, to good, give good. an example, um, I can uh, um, just pick up a, uh, one uh, poem. Like Yeah, that will be lovely to hear it and see it and uh, I can actually relate to everything you're saying while you're finding that I can you know it's, it's something that makes so much sense um, I felt that wavelength with you right away by the way <laughs> thank you so much yeah, it's um, I have a poem which uh, I'm not going to recite that but I just wanted to show you the yeah, picture sure sure it's, sure uh, Kisne dekha hai. Mm -hmm. So it's basically on uh, religious harmony and jo bed bhav samaj mein hai dharm ko leke. So what I wanted was that I wanted a picture uh, of something which is in all the religions. And then I realized uh, with my research that uh, jap mala or the beads which, you know, like rosary beads in Christians or jap mala in Hindus. So this jap mala uh, is the only one which is in all the religions. So that's why I use that picture here. Oh, beautiful. I can actually help you. Yeah, that's that's beautiful. I love the picture and the poetry that goes along with it. So yeah, I like it. Uh, really there's nice. another poem here, uh, which is uh, Andar Ki Awaz. Mm -hmm. So uh, Andar Ki Awaz sometimes is not that sweet. So that's why I put a picture of a oh. lemon. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. It's, it's a nice manifestation of yeah, that, exactly. that concept. Exactly. It just gives another dimension. It does, it does. It definitely does, yeah. So you and touch all the senses of the reader. Absolutely. You know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Create an experience. Yes, yes. And I've yes, seen yes. that a lot of kids uh, who, do, who are not that interested in reading, yeah. But if you give them something with pictures, yes. it incites a curiosity. It does. I think, yeah. and, and the child in us will always be able to appreciate oh, yeah. that as well. <laughs> <laughs> lovely, lovely. And is there a CD? I think that's yes, a CD yes, that goes a CD with it too. Well, okay. Which uh, we recorded in India. Okay. Um, it comes with a book. Okay. So and is it is it recited? The poetry yeah, the, is recited? Yeah, there are recitations in the CD. Okay. And right. uh, there are two songs which I produced and uh, which were uh, composed by Rishikesh Datar, who lives in Pune. Um, and is a phenomenal uh, composer. You will once you listen to the songs, you realize that uh, one of the songs has been uh, sung by Rishikesh Ranade, who's a Saragamapa winner, and uh, who he, was recently he, here, right? He yeah, toured, yeah, yeah, yeah. He with, just uh, toured uh, uh, Shreya Goshalji. Yes, he was recently here. And the other song has been sung by uh, Jasraj Joshi, beautiful, who's the uh, Saragamapa winner of this year. Excellent, and phenomenal excellent. singer, phenomenal singer. Excellent, so, excellent. Yeah. Well, it's an honor to be sitting next to you oh, then. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Absolutely, absolutely. Great. So that's that's a lot of good information. So uh, would definitely, you know, I'm sure there's people who are interested in the book. And how can they get hold of a copy of this book? There are multiple ways. Uh, if they would like to order a book online, uh, bookganga.com is a website that we use. And um, they, a lot of people in the U.S. have used that and in other countries. And they, they have delivered books everywhere. As you know, and you already talked about it, that I'm born and brought up in Kashmir. Yes. So I've not been to Kashmir for a very long time. But recently, I was thrilled to know when one of my friends said that she uh, ordered the book and she got it in, and she lives in Kashmir. So I was really happy about good, that. Good, good. Very so nice. So bookganga.com is one way and okay. they, um, they can also email me or they can uh, uh, talk to you and then... You know. Oh, absolutely. We'd be happy to, happy to connect. Uh, whoever is interested in the book, definitely get in touch with me or you directly and we can, we can connect yeah. everybody together. That will be wonderful. So this is such a pleasure to talk to you, yeah, Sanena. We look forward to... Yes, definitely. Thank you so much for coming Thank to you. Foundations Thank you for TV. having me here. Yeah. Would you like to give a message to our viewers? Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, first of all, I, as I said, thank you for having me here. You're very welcome. And I really appreciate all the good work that Foundations TV has been doing. Thank you. Uh, you know, giving, uh, showcase, showcasing new talent and promoting not the you know, usual people who are always there, but showcasing new talent and nurturing the new talent. Thank so, you. Um, there is uh, no, un unless somebody appreciates, art has no yes. value as well. Yes, yes, I, I, so I can understand that. You're very welcome. It's an, it's an absolute pleasure. And on that note, before we end our video recording today, I would also like to share with our audiences that the beautiful set that you see over here has been put together by a very dear friend, Rohini Iris Pola, who is starting her new business called Marigold. She has been helping a lot of people set up uh, different, uh, you know, different, I guess, different different settings for different shows but now she's going to be doing it as a business so she's also sponsoring this 
uh, video of ours and we are very very happy for her and we wish her all the best i think she did uh, you will all agree with me she did a phenomenal job setting this whole thing up every little detail with colors and the scheme and the yeah, little artifacts that she brought in wonderful. yes i think uh, this was something that connected with me immediately Beautiful. the moment i came here i felt very comfortable excellent excellent so good luck to rohini and good luck thank to sanena so uh, thank, thank you so much for coming चेहरे को